Hello everyone, part two of Dragon Quest of the Stars. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, so I'm just going to go over to this one here. I could join a team or recruit a team. I haven't done any of that yet. These are the treasure boxes. I get one free spin a day on this one, so let's do it. Now, what I find interesting about these treasure boxes is that I, like, I did it twice where I did, like, ten in a row. And it was like three star, four star, three star, four star, always a five star at the end. And I did it twice in a row, and I always got just one five star at the end. I have never had more than one five star in, because it's always the last one that's a five star. Alright, so we did the draws, and you don't have to do this draw, actually. There's a bunch of different draws. There's the Eric equipment, Dungeon Quest equipment, Metal Slime equipment. Because I'm looking to get Metal Slime, that's why I was in this one. But as you can see, you get 10 draws for 3,000, which is 300. It's best just to wait for that one, I guess. But, I don't know. I, so I sometimes feel like it's always guaranteed that the 5 stars at the end, but it's never guaranteed that you get any more than one 5 star. Alright, let's go over here to the Bunny Village. You have your safe, which you can deposit or retrieve items. Your backyard merchant, which you can sell things to your backyard merchant, things that you know you won't need. 200 bushy bazaar points and some gold so I'll confirm that and then I could actually use my points to exchange things that I would prefer to have and you could do ticket exchange which I have you get one ticket a day so you could collect them or you could just exchange them I think I'll hold on to it for now then you have your gem shop you can buy gems. I don't really want to buy gems yet. You can refill your stamina, expand your inventory. I think expanding inventory would probably be the most beneficial if you wanted to do that. Then you have your wandering adventures. This one's actually kind of interesting. This one makes you interact with other people. So I would shake my phone. Shake, 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 shake. This is new treasure map found. And then this treasure map gives you two items that you need to do. So upgrade skills five times, which we'll be able to do. And clear the key dungeon upgrade door five times. Gosh darn it, we should have done this map first, because I just did. Alright, and then you have the beauty salon. Sure, let's stick with that. Aqua's a good name for a priest. There. Edited. Do you like my brooding guy over there? Yeah. I like that that's free. Alright, let's go into the upgrade weapon shop. This is a... Uh, very, very, very important. Okay. Upgrading equipment. As you can see, I have four weapons. I have two five-star shields, so I upgrade those. I, I figure that it's no use upgrading anything unless it's five stars. Sure, let's throw, let's throw the thug mug on there. Start. And then you can skip it. Upgrades it to 19. Evolve equipment. This is a good one. I don't have any weapons that are duplicates. It's this one. So I can evolve it because I have a second one of it. And now my max is plus 25. So my magic healing is plus uh, low level resist to 5. Upgrade skills. So let's go to this one. Now you can hold your thumb down on it and it'll tell you what the skill is. So this is 200% potency attack. And then this one is 65% potency attack. So I would probably... But this one hits four times. 
Uh, this one does not hit four times. But this one's random enemies. But if you're fighting the boss, it's only gonna attack the boss if because I usually kill the sub guys first before I use this attack. So that's about 200. That's a little over 200. That's 67 times 4. Plus the bonus attack because you're using a bonus attack if you use more bonus attacks at once. Anyways, you can actually change all these sub skills attacks. So if I click on, say, attack attacker. Oh, wait, it's a direct response. Let's just upgrade this first. Oh, I don't have any materials for upgrading. Gosh darn it. Alright, uh, set skills. This is what I was talking about before, like changing up your skill stats. And I can click on this one, and it'll show me all the ones that are the circle that I could put into that spot. Now, I have it on this one because it's actually meant for axes only, and I think that that's a really good one for that character. And then we have extract skills, which just means you can take a skill off of. Uh, let's go to craft counter. Right now I only have one recipe, which is strong medicine. I haven't gotten any access to make new recipes yet, but as you can see there's also a blank spot so I can make it again. So it uses my regular medicine to make medical herbs. I need three to make strong medicine. It's good for those really tough battles. And then you have your kitchen. So I have proper pepper, but I do not have tender meat. I do have a couple recipes for this one, but I do not have enough of anything to make anything for you guys at the moment. And that is it for what I have in the tree so far. I don't know if it'll grow any taller. I know this tree started off small, and then every time it has a new opening, it'll open up a new slot. And let's just get into one battle here. So, uh, skill for finish, used. without using items, and okay, without that. This one's not gonna have any special slime, so that doesn't matter. This is part of the map task, so you wanna equip that. And if you look really closely at the very beginning of the battle, they will take that and eat it right away. There, see, I'm three out of three now. We can also use stamps. Rah! Let's hit the fast forward button so we go faster. Oh, don't don't forget to hit those things, man. Those jars are important. That's where you get all your ingredients and stuff from. All right, so this is like a dancer move. Skillful finish. Now sometimes it'll be like use three skillful finishes, so you gotta make sure that you attack, or end a group attack, three times on a skillful finish. Uh, this guy over here, he heals, so it's always good to attack him first. And that slime boss is really weak, so we can actually probably use all of these attacks. And automatically win. Look at that, 500, or 150% extra damage. It's crazy, man, crazy. And then we finish the battle, and we get our reward. After our experience, of course. And then we get times experience because we did those quests. They get times experience. And they're separate, so it's times two experience on what you made, and then it's times 1.5 experience on what you made. So when you have those, it's actually really good to do the dungeon quest because you get lots of experience from that, and then it times two, and then it times 1.5. It's crazy. So if I go to my home screen here, I can collect my mail. Let's stuff in my mail. I can see that I have friend requests. People wanting to be my friend. And then I have my maps, which you can either click here or you can click it on the bottom of the screen. And it'll take you exactly to the one where you completed and then give you your reward right away. But uh, that's pretty much all the extra stuff I've learned about this game so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you can watch it every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This is Twy and Game. Twy. Out.